So 5.2 deals with the natural log function and integration. Um, I'm just going to be discussing the log rules for integration and then integrals of trig functions, which I'll actually cover in the video after this one, um, just for sake of space and uh, it'd be easier to go um, find out specifically uh, what topic you want to focus on. Um, so the two basic rules for integrating um, with natural logs is that if you're taking the integral of 1 over x dx, um, it's just the natural log of the absolute value of x plus c. If you make a u substitution, it's the same thing except you've got u inside of the absolute value and then you're, you still have your plus c. So just the first example, uh, find the integral of 4 over x dx. Well, I can separate the 4 over x to 4 over 4 times 1 over x dx. This 4 is a constant, which means I can bring it out front. So 4 times the integral of 1 over x dx. Here I can apply rule number 1 and get 4 times the natural log of x plus c. Second example, find the integral of 1 over 8x plus 3 dx. Uh, there's nothing really we could separate out or anything. So first thing um, we'll look to do is just do a u substitution. We'll set u equal to 8x plus 3. The derivative of that is 8. multiply both sides by dx and then we don't have an 8 dx but we do have just a single dx so we can divide both sides by 8 and now we can substitute it into the equation into our uh, problem so we've got 1 over u times I'm gonna change this to 1 eighth times du. If you multiply these two together you just get that. I can bring this one eighth out in front since it's a constant. And now we've got one eighth times the integral of one over u du. Rule number two told us that the integral of one over u du is just the natural log the absolute value of u plus c. If we substitute in our u in terms of x to the u here, then we get 1 eighth times the natural log of the absolute value of 8x plus 3 plus c. Okay, so find the area bounded by y equals x over x squared plus 1, the x-axis, and the line x equals 2. So first thing we'll do is just write an equation for what we're trying to do. It says we want to find the area bounded by a function, so that just means the integral. And our function is x over x squared plus 1. And now it says our, the x-axis, so that's just 0 for our lower limit. And the line x equals 2, so that's going to be our upper limit. Um, look at this, and I just kind of see a u substitution. So if we set u equal to x squared plus 1, then we get du equals 2x dx. We have an x dx but we don't we don't need that 2 so we'll divide by 2 <clears throat> and then if we rewrite our integral now that we have now we, that we can make a substitution um, 
our new limits, remember we're going to, since we made a u substitution, we're now writing in terms of u, and these limits are in terms of x. So uh, we're going to have to change our lower and upper limits. For the lower limit, we'll plug 0 into our u equation, and we get 0 squared plus 1, which is just 1. We plug 2 into our u equation, and we get 2 squared plus 1, that's 5, and there's our new upper and lower limits. Now we can make our substitutions for the inside. So we've got 1 over u times 1 half times du. We can bring this 1 half out front since it's a constant. And we've got 1 half times the integral from 1 to 5 of 1 over u du. That gives us 1 half times the natural log of u from five or from from one to five. And so um, here's your your exact answer. I don't have my calculator with me or else I would have gotten some sort of approximation as well. <clears throat> but if you just plug this into your calculator, you can get an approximation, a decimal approximation. I'm actually going to cover this example in the next video, just because in that one I'll be dealing with... Um, trig function specifically. But here's another example. Uh, so right off the back it kind of looks we've got 2x up top and an x plus 2 squared down on the bottom and we want to take the integral of it but it doesn't seem like we could make a easy just separate it out or um, or just do anything that we have right off the top of our head. But um, the first thing I do notice in this one is that we can make a u substitution for this denominator and just hope that uh, we find something that can help us in solving this. So for this one, we'll set u equal to x plus 2. If you take the derivative of that, you get du equals dx. So now we can just change this to a du. However, since we're now writing in terms of u, we're going to have to change this x in terms of u as well. So to do that, you just want to use this u, u equals x plus 2 and solve for x. So that's going to be u minus 2 equals x. I just subtracted 2 from both sides to get x by itself. Now we can substitute this in for x. And on the bottom we've got u squared and then du. Here we have 2 as a constant so we can bring that out front. And we have 2 times the integral of u minus 2 over u squared du. And now I see that I can separate this out and make it a little bit easier. So I'll simply put u over u squared as its own integral minus 2 over u squared as another integral. u over u squared simplifies to 1 over u. 2 over u squared can be rewritten as 2u to the negative second. 
and now we can start integrating. For this first term, we've got 2 times the natural log of the absolute value of u. Now we don't need to put plus c in yet. We can put it in at the end. Um, because remember that c is just a constant that's going to be added on. <clears throat> so you can, as long as you just put it either when you integrate this one or this one, it doesn't matter which you add it to. So minus 2 times, we can bring this 2 out in front, since that's a constant. And now the integral of u to the negative second is u to the negative first. We raise the power 1 divided by negative 1 plus c. So that's 2 times the natural log of, remember that u was x plus 2. And then minus 4 times, I'm going to rewrite this whole part as negative 1 over u plus c. I simply just move this u to the negative first down to the bottom so that it could become a positive exponent. u to the first is just u and then the negative came from this dividing by negative 1. So if you simplify this part right here you get plus 4 over u, and remember that we made a u substitution of x plus 2, so I'll just put that in right there, plus c. And there is our answer. <clears throat> so it's a lot of steps, or it can be a lot of steps, but mostly if you just learn to recognize patterns, then it'll um, start to come easier and easier. Uh, in the next video I'll be discussing um, integrating the six basic trig functions, so uh, if you want to see uh, stuff on that, then just look for that video.